welcome, welcome. Maybe you came from Windows, maybe you came from Mac OS, maybe you've been using Linux all along. But somehow, you ended up on Linux and you wanted to use Blender. So you downloaded Blender, you opened it, you worked on a beautiful project. So here, I'm just going to open up one of the benchmarks, uh, just as a uh, reference. And then you hit your render properties, and you saw this grayed out GPU compute box. And you're like, what the heck? I have a GPU. Why isn't it using it? Why can't I do this? So you head over to your edit tab, you hit your preferences option, and you see this box. Now for me, this box has the devices in there. But for you, and what probably prompted you to come to this video, was the fact that it said devices not found, or no compatible devices. Which means you can't do GPU rendering, which means it's going to take forever, and that is a very unpleasant experience. But, there is a workaround, I'm going to show you that in this video. So, basically, what's happened is, when you downloaded Linux, or when you started using it, your Linux found out whatever graphics card was in your system, and it probably downloaded the open source drivers for it. In my case, I have a I have an AMD system, and in my system I have an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X, not overclocked, and an AMD 6600 XT, again, not overclocked. So I have an AMD GPU. And what Linux did was it found the open source AMD GPU drivers and it installed them. And that's really good. The open source AMD GPU drivers are the ones you want to use most of the time. However, sometimes you need to use proprietary drivers. Now, I want to preface this by saying this is going to depend on your graphics card. If you have NVIDIA, I will leave a timestamp in the description below. You can go to your section of the video. If you're AMD, stay right here so you've got an amd gpu and you want to know what to do there are proprietary drivers for all amd gpus for linux however they will tank your performance they are very bad at what they do they're just generally horrible you want to be using the open source ones when you can this is an exception the open source drivers do not work for this program so here's what we're going to do this depends on your distro if you have Manjaro, this is going to be very easy. I'm on Manjaro, I can show this for Manjaro. If you're on Arch, I can show you how to do it for Arch. We're just going to use the Arch user repository. But if you're on a different distro, I'm sorry, I do not know how to help you. There's probably some workaround that you can get it, but just try to copy these steps as much as you can on your own distro. Okay, let's get started. So, Manjaro, first thing we're going to do, I'm going to go to your add and remove software. You're going to hit that button, you're going to go to the search bar, and you're just going to type in OpenCL-AMD. You're going to hit enter, you're going to see this driver right here. You want to hit the one that doesn't say XMR-STAK-OpenCL-AMD. You want this one. You're going to go hit install, it's going to ask for a pseudo password, you're going to give it, you're going to restart your system, bada boop, bada bang, you're done. That's it. That's all you need to do for Manjaro. Keep in mind though, I am on the testing release of Manjaro, which means I get updates before the stable release gets updates. This does not work on the stable release. I've tried, you can try it yourself if it works. Wow, you're incredibly lucky. Good for you. You should probably use it that way. But if it doesn't, you will switch over to the testing branch to get it to work. It's not as scary as it seems. The testing branch is almost completely safe, and I would strongly recommend switching over to the testing branch. If you don't know how to do something, don't do it, and it won't break your system. The testing branch is safe, or if you feel like you want to take the risk, you can go on to the unstable branch. I have not done that. I do not feel safe doing that, so I'm stuck with the testing branch. Okay. What if you're using a different Arch-based distro? That's not too bad. Or what if you're using any distro and you can use the AUR? That's not bad. So we're going to open up a web browser. I'm going to go to the AUR. That one. We're going to search a package and we're going to type open cl-amd. There. 
We're going to see the same two packages that we saw with the Manjaro add and remove software. I'm going to go hit open this one. We're going to clone the Git repo and we're going to install it. That's about it. So if I need to show how to do that, it's okay. We just uh, right click this. You're going to go to copy link. Open up your console and you know navigate to your program. I'm just going to show it like this. We're going to do cd program that one. We're going to do git clone control shift v get the link in there. I'm going to hit enter and you'll see for my system it says it already exists and it's not an empty directory. For your system, it probably won't say this, and it'll give you a prompt. You're going to go ahead and install it. Okay, so that's the end of the AMD section. Be careful. The drivers I was talking about earlier, the ones you don't want to install, are the following. They are the AMD GPU-Pro drivers. These ones are the ones that will tank your system performance. As you can see, I've tried a lot of them. They don't work. So trust me, stick with just the open CL-AMD one. Okay, and that concludes it. If you're on an AMD-based system, have fun with Blender, and I hope this helped. Now, we are going to start the NVIDIA portion. So, NVIDIA. If you're on Manjaro, super easy. You're going to go to the Add and Remove software, which opens up a tab that should look something like this. You are going to hit the search bar. You are going to type in open CL dash NVIDIA. There we go. Right there. And you download the first one that pops up. You want to download it. You're going to give yourself a system restart. It should be good to go. If you don't have Manjaro and this package doesn't pop up in your package manager or your add and remove software, what you're going to do is you're going to go, hey, you're going to head to Firefox. You're going to head to the AUR. You are going to package search for open CL dash NVIDIA. You're going to hit enter. There's going to pop up a ton of these. Some of them you are going to want, some of them you are going to not. It depends on your graphics card, and I'm sorry I don't have a list for this. I am not an NVIDIA user, and therefore I do not know which one works. I think it's going to be one of these. I am not entirely sure, as I have not tested it. But if I had to say, it's going to be one of these, depending on what card you have. Anyway, I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below, and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Have fun with Blender, everyone.